I don't know how your day started, but my day started with an early drive up to up to Jimboran because we're back at at Dunia Bintang School. And Dunia Bintang means world star. Yeah, um, it was set up about four, just before COVID, or during COVID, to help families whose kids couldn't afford to, or, or yeah, kids who couldn't afford to get to the regular school system. And it's only a very small school. When I started here a year and a half ago, there was about 30 kids. There's 59 kids so far and climbing. Um, they're bursting at the seams and we've even helped to build a whole new classroom and there's more ongoing works. The road when we started was a, a bit of a goat track, a bit of a dirt road, but the, the school grounds are full of banana trees and there's a giant mango tree there. And it's one of the most unique schools you'll ever visit. But the kids are just so beautiful. On a Thursday morning, they all dress up in their ceremonial costumes and they come to school and they, do, they learn to do their traditional dances. So look, quite often, if people are coming over to Bali and they want to come and sponsor one of the children, we suggest they come down on a Thursday so they can see the kids um, in, their, in their, their more natural state, I guess. So today, I've got some good friends of mine that have come over from Australia and they're about to, about to witness firsthand um, what these kids can do. Now, if you happen to watch my wedding video, the kids actually performed at my wedding and it was just spectacular. They had all their makeup on it, the most beautiful costumes. It was just phenomenal. <coughs> so look, I just quickly want to talk about the sponsorship because with the huge increase in, in school demand, um, there's a massive demand for in the community for these kids to be able to attend classes. Um, and with the help from my, my subscribers, We've been able to help quite a number of the kids, but there's about 20 or more new kids that have started this year that don't have um, subscribers. Now, we've come up with the money for five kids today, and it's $200 Australian, or two, uh, two million rupiah, and that covers their school fees, it covers uniforms, and it covers their basic tuition for the next 12 months. So, look, if you would like to donate uh, to a child, you'll get your own picture with the child, you'll get the little story, the kids are going to be keeping in contact with you, you'll get to have some immediate and direct contact when you come over here, you can come up and meet the children, and honestly their faces are just the most darling you've ever seen. It's just lovely bringing people up here that have got some teaching experience or that um, come from all different backgrounds just to experience what a school over here is like. This is a very modest little school um, and actually funded by donations and by whatever they can uh, manage to scrape together, including Miss Yanti, the principal, who was doing spot, uh, um, home tutoring for, tu uh, for students during COVID so that she could get a few dollars together and, and this is what they built out of it. Luckily, the husband's parents um, owned this land, it's a sort of family land. So they were able to secure the land for nothing and amazingly, 
it's next to one of the biggest icons of Bali, the giant big GWK statue. So we're actually inside the, the grounds of the big cultural park, but in, in part of the village, part of the original village that was here long before the statue was built. So over those trees somewhere is all of the big statue and you can see it from miles away. And you wouldn't realize there's a very humble and a very um, simple little school here that's growing exponentially. 59 kids and still and still got growing. They're restricted now just by the physical, the buildings that they've got and, and also the amenities and stuff. So I've said this before, but we're working on getting these toilets upgraded because there's one toilet and I'll tell you that uh, look for a Western person and I, and I can only look at this through Western eyes but for a Western person this toilet isn't uh, isn't optimal that's it they don't use toilet paper they use a bucket and a, and water they don't have a flushing toilet they actually squat over the top of that hole it's very common to use those toilet those Asian toilets over here but there's one toilet for 59 kids and five teachers. Now, obviously, if we're going to upgrade that and put several toilets in, we need to look at the sewage system, the wastewater, the, the water supply, and the storage and all that sort of stuff. So it's a it's a bigger um, picture than just four walls and a dunny. So we're working through that, and we have had a, few, a couple of sponsors generously put up and say that they'd love to help. So that is definitely a, a, a mission in progress. We were hoping to get it done before the school year started, but there's, there's a little bit more infrastructure, a little bit more logistics that we've got to work through. Um, but they've got a, they, they need a school canteen, they need some playground equipment. If you look at the ground here, there's bumps and lumps and solid concrete and, and trip hazards, which make it really difficult for the kids to run around and play and play ball games and stuff like that so we'd like to get more paving stones we've already put these ones down but our mission is to get more paving stones and and pave the area give the kids a nice safe place to play and eventually hopefully maybe even build some more classrooms so they can expand into a junior primary and then hopefully maybe even a senior primary so look that's our mission that's one of the one of the things that we're doing up here um, we are also looking around at other missions including some um, some orphanages and there's some other schools that are reaching out to us asking for some help so we are not just going to have one school that we're helping out um, with the um, with Bali Donut organization our commitment is to try to try to help the people of Bali that, that really need it and we're looking for people who or for situations and, and organizations that are really really struggling and that don't have good or external funding and just seeing what we can do with your help to be able to make it better. How's that ladies? They got a bin? Yeah they do just like here. Oh. How was that? Great. Pretty good. Awesome. Mind opening to be honest with you. Oh it is too. Thank you. And very very humbling. Yes. It is, hey? yes. uh, lovely. Um, yes. The kids are so beautiful eh? Oh, yeah, they are. Good.